Copacabana taxi rank in central Harare, where a war has raged for years between unregistered minibus taxis and police. Law enforcement is accused of using illegal methods to restore order and sometimes demanding bribes to look the other way. This new constitution is of no effect. We don't have the power. Ultimately, who can you run to when police break the law? Last month, a four-year-old boy was killed by a fleeing minibus. When a newspaper accused the police chief of being responsible, they were arrested and charged with publishing falsehoods prejudicial to the state with the intention of inciting public violence, a law the journalists maintain was struck off the law books. It's just one of the criticisms against President Mugabe's government a year after he signed a new constitution guaranteeing greater state accountability. Amnesty International says legislation restricting internationally recognized human rights is still in place. Local experts say while government has created state bodies in line with the new charter, it has not moved fast enough to realign the laws. Two bills have been presented to parliament. This is a year down the line. Just two bills and nothing has been done. A retired South African judge has urged citizens not to wait for laws to be passed. What we need to do is to have cases where people are affected, people's rights are affected by these laws, and then go to court and make applications to set aside the provisions. It is only then, after courts make a few orders against them, after they pay some costs and so on, that the government might take its responsibilities more seriously. Police have called on the public to report officers who smash windscreens, but years of corruption have eroded public confidence in the state, a confidence which the new constitution has yet to restore. Shingai Nyoka, SABC News, Harare, Zimbabwe.